Hi, my name is Giovanna Cervantes and I'm a sales manager for Zybex Systems. At Zybex, we cater to various industries, one of which is dispatch centers. So today we are at Aurora Dispatch Center and what our goal today is to understand the strenuous job that dispatchers undergo. With that comes their physical ability to stretch, and to change their movement throughout their working hours. Now, as a credited certified personal trainer, I have over eight years of fitness industry. I would love to introduce various stretches where dispatchers can achieve throughout their working hours. Our goal here today for this first exercise is gonna be a hip opener. First things first is we wanna make sure that your seat is at a level where your feet are nice and flat. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring one ankle across our thigh. We're gonna cross it, making a figure four. Now as you perform this movement, we wanna make sure that our back is nice and straight. We're able to place one palm on our knee, one palm on our ankle, and we're slowly gonna move forward, keeping those shoulders pulled back. Now with this movement, we're gonna feel our hip opening you're mostly gonna feel it on the leg that is raised over your thigh so for this example my right leg is feeling that stretch right around the hip area now this is very important because when we are seated for periods long periods of time we tend to have tight lower back muscles as well as our hip joints so with this movement you want to make sure that you lean forward you are breathing in through your nose out through your mouth and you wanna make sure that you hold every stretch for at least 20 seconds. So right now, I'm feeling that stretch. It doesn't take very much. Now, once you start to round your shoulders, you're gonna lessen that stretch. So keep those shoulders pulled down and back and keep that back nice and straight. Okay, so team, we're gonna go ahead and execute this movement. We have Mario here, who is a dispatcher at Aurora. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our hips. So I want you to have your feet nice and flat. Perfect, I want you to sit up tall. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross your right ankle over your thigh. So you're gonna bring it right there, perfect. Now you're gonna go ahead and place one palm with your right palm over your right knee, left palm over your left ankle, perfect. Now pull the shoulders up and back and I want you to hinge forward. Now where do you feel that movement? I kind of like on my right side. Yep, so perfect. So now he's feeling it around his hip area. So you want to lean forward, but keep those shoulders pinched forward. Yep, there we go. What we want to prevent is roll those shoulders forward. Now you're feeling this around your ankle area. Perfect, now that bottom foot is nice and flat. There we go, so keeping his back nice and straight. Neck, spine, neutral position. He's breathing in through his nose, out through his mouth. Relax, again, holding it for a minimum of 20 seconds. While I'm talking, there should be plenty of time for you to just breathe in, breathe out. Perfect. All right, now relax, pull the shoulders down and back, sit up, put, place your foot back down. Yep, now we're gonna go ahead and perform this on the opposite leg. Same thing, ankle over your thigh, palm over your knee. There we go. <laughs> Feeling good about this, shoulders up and fold back. There we go. Now you're gonna go ahead and again, hinge forward slowly. All right, you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, neck and spine aligned. We have this for 30 seconds. Let's start right now. There we go, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So what we're doing during the stretch is we're letting those muscles kind of relax because they've been tight for sitting down too long or you know hips not being mobile in a static position. There we go. We got about 10 seconds left. So take a deep breath into your nose. And as you exhale out, see if you can hinge a little further. There we go. We're gonna recover in three, two, one, recover. There we go, perfect job. You're gonna go ahead and place your feet flat and relax. So next, we're gonna go ahead and release our back. So in this position, we're gonna go ahead and do a torso rotation. How we're gonna perform this movement, we wanna make sure again, the, the seat is at its lowest position where your feet are nice and flat. You're gonna go ahead and take one arm away from the furthest part of the handle, place that palm there, and you're gonna go ahead and rotate. Now in this position, you wanna make sure that Obviously lower body stays still and your upper body is gonna go ahead and rotate. You're gonna feel this on that lower back. You're breathing in, you're breathing out through your mouth. We're holding this for a couple of seconds and we're gonna go ahead and release. Place palms back down, reset, and we're gonna perform the same movement on the opposite side. 
placing down, moving to the side, and you wanna pull yourself in this position. In through your nose, out through your mouth, keeping feet nice and flat, lower body stays still, feeling this on your lower back. So why we do this movement is because our lower back tends to stay super tight. Again, when we're seated, when we're standing, we wanna make sure that our muscles are staying mobile and are feeling those muscle neurofibers fire up during these breaks. So now we're gonna go ahead and have Mario execute the same stretch. Now we're gonna go ahead and have his right palm onto the left handle. Left palm is gonna go towards the back part of that handle and you're gonna sit up tall and you're gonna go ahead and pull yourself towards me while keeping your feet nice and flat facing the same direction. Now you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. There we go. Do you feel this on your lower back? Perfect, all right, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Awesome, we're gonna hold this for a couple more seconds. So let's do this for 30 seconds in through your nose. Perfect. Now as you exhale, see if you can rotate yourself a little further. You always wanna perform a deeper stretch on an exhale. Go. Final 10 seconds on this. We're gonna go ahead and recover in three, two, one. Back in towards the center. All right, torso rotation on the seated position. Let's go ahead and perform this on the same movement, opposite side. Perfect, already set up. Shoulders down and pulled back. Hips facing forward. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, starting right now. So as we age, our T-spine rotations tends to decrease. So it's very important that as we get older, we keep this into account. Functional stretching, you're turning back, grabbing something behind your car seats. We don't wanna jerk any movements. There we go, couple more seconds right here. And recover, three, two, one, beautiful. Next, we're gonna go ahead and release some tension on our upper back. So this is between your shoulder blades. How we're gonna perform this movement, feet are still flat on the ground, position on the seat as at its lowest point where your thighs are nice and parallel. You're gonna move those palms forward and you are separating your shoulder blades as you reach towards your shins. Now, you may feel this some on your lower back. You're inhaling in, you're exhaling out. What you're doing here is you are separating each vertebrae from your upper part of your back and decompressing it as you are in a seated position. So again, we're gonna go ahead and lean forward, round that upper back, almost like you're caving. Breathe in, breathe out. Up next, we're gonna have Mario perform that same movement. Position is perfect, feet nice and flat, lowest point on that chair, palms are on his thighs. He's gonna go ahead and slightly, now you're not hinging, you're leaning forward, so shoulders can roll forward. Nice, nice, there we go. Now I want you to actively feel like you're separating your shoulder blades, like rounding that back, making that arch. You're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Yeah, you can let your head relax. We're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds, starting right now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. There we go, we got about 15 seconds left through this 30 second stretch. Shoulder blades are pressing away from each other. We are decompressing your upper back in this movement. We're gonna recover in three, two, one. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and stretch our hamstrings. So our hamstrings are the back part of our leg. What we're gonna do is again, have our feet nice and flat, starting position. Seat is at the slowest position as well. Extend both legs, place both heels down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come closer towards the edge of our seat. Now we're gonna go ahead and extend our legs. Now we do not want to lock out our knees. We wanna have a slight bend. And you're gonna go ahead and hinge forward. Toes are gonna be pointed naturally up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down and pulled back. You're gonna feel this on the upper part of your back leg. You wanna make sure you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you have your palms ahead of you, make sure they're either on your thigh or on your shins, never on your joint. So again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. The more comfortable you get with this stretch, you can start pulling those toes closer 
towards you. You're gonna feel a deeper stretch without hinging so far forward. We're gonna go ahead and have Mario execute this stretch. So we're gonna go ahead and extend both legs. There you go. Now, I want you to sit up tall. Now you're gonna keep this position and you're gonna hinge. So now you're hinging, you're not leaning forward. There we go. And your toes are pointed up towards that ceiling. Keep those heels down. There you go, stop right there. Do you feel that on your hamstring? Okay, perfectly. You're gonna be holding this for a couple of seconds, 30, starting right now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now at this halfway point of the stretch, if you're able to, I want you to place your heels down, toes up towards the ceiling. There we go. Final 10 seconds right here, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You will still wanna keep your upper back as straight as possible. That's gonna go ahead and put that tension on your hamstrings, not off your hamstrings. Let's go ahead and recover in three, two, one. Perfect. Next, for our lower body, we're moving into our ankles. So, we're gonna sit a little bit closer towards the edge of our seat, feet are still nice and flat. Extend one heel, extend the other. You're gonna extend those toes away from you. So now we're putting all that tension, we're shortening up your calf muscle, feeling that on your ankle, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push away as well. Now we're feeling it towards us. You wanna pull yourself in, push yourself back out. You're gonna feel this movement throughout your ankle mobility. We're gonna have Mario execute our ankle stretch. So now we're gonna go ahead and have Mario perform this. You're closer to the edge of your seat. You're gonna extend. Perfect. Now you're gonna go ahead and point those toes away from you. All right, so then again, he's shortening up that muscle. We're gonna hold this for about 15 seconds. You really wanna think about squeezing your calves, pointing those toes down. Perfect, back is nice and relaxed. You're breathing. And now we're gonna go ahead and point those toes towards you as you keep your legs as straight as possible. Really dig those, yeah, there we go, perfect. Now you see that lengthening of his leg there. Couple more seconds. You wanna hold every stretch at least for 20 seconds there. Perfect, and you repeat this a couple more cycles, two to three times to get the full effect of this movement itself. We wanna thank you for joining us today and going through these stretches. We wanna make sure that you guys stay tuned for more videos on upper, lower body, wrist, forearms. Stay tuned for more. Uh, and I just wanna clarify that, you know, dispatchers, they invest in many people's lives throughout their daily activities, throughout their job. And I wanna remind you that, you know, Health is an investment, it's not an expense. So we wanna make sure that you keep investing in yourself and in your health.